Hello, in this video, we will be talking about how you can study without a study space. Now that most classes are held online, we have no choice but to study within the comforts of our own home. A few weeks ago, I posted my desk tour, but I do acknowledge that not everyone has the privilege or the opportunity to have their own study space at home. Ideally, if there is no pandemic going on, it will be nice to study outside, but obviously that is not the best option right now. Instead, you can temporarily study in different places inside your house, preferably an area where there is little distraction. First, I highly recommend getting one of these. It is a foldable table you can use on the couch, on your bed, and even on the floor. However, I do not recommend studying on your bed because your brain associates that furniture with sleep. So you might feel sleepy after reading a few pages on your notes. Second, it's nice to have a clipboard for a smooth writing surface. If you're like me who likes loose leaf paper or if you are working on a printed document, this is pretty helpful. Next, you can also put up a ready-to-go pencil case which contains your study essentials like your favorite pen, pencil, highlighter, and the likes. Speaking of study essentials, you can also have a notepad or a planner that you can easily carry around with you. It will be nice if your planner already has everything you need to help you so you no longer have to carry around a lot of extra notebooks. Another thing you can do is to go digital. When you don't have a proper study space or a desk, then it means you are constantly moving places and setting up. Hence, it will save you some time if you keep things minimal and have everything you need in one device. This quarantine, I've been slowly transitioning to digital. Not all of my habit trackers, planners, journals, and notes are handwritten. Some of them I have already transferred on my laptop. It feels weird at first, but eventually I have learned to adapt. I think it's important to make the most of what we have now. Related to that, I also recommend investing in a good earphones or headphones, preferably with the noise cancelling feature as it helps when you're studying let's say in a common place in your house like the living room or the dining room. I also like having a flash drive like this one since I have a lot of files and sometimes I also have to transfer documents from my phone to my laptop and vice versa. Personally, I also like to use phone holders since I like propping my phone up whenever I study. Phone holders are usually portable so you won't have that much trouble carrying them around. Ideally, I would recommend you to study near an electrical socket or maybe have an extension cord or a power bank with you. I will put links to some of the products I recommend on the description box below. Lastly, to carry all of this around, you can use a tote bag or any bag of your choice. I know it sounds odd using a bag inside your house, but trust me, this helps. I hope you have gained ideas from this video. I upload videos every Sunday. See you next week.